Lizzie, talk to us about the UK jobs report, what it tells us about the softness in this economy. Yeah, so it's come out at 7am this morning. It's the lowest three-month unemployment rate since 1974, 3.6%. Mm. Economists hadn't predicted any change from 3.8%, so that tightness in the labour market really persisting. And the unemployment rate is something that Prime Minister Boris Johnson, before he uh, stood down, showed off about, if you remember, on the steps of Downing Street. He said that it had been, it was the lowest since he was on a space hopper. But what this actually means for businesses is it's fanning upward pressure on wages, it's making it more expensive to do business, and it's more, it's more difficult to find staff. Uh, so in reality, this is not necessarily a good thing. And further out, our economists say uh, that because of the energy bailout, the risk of that overheating the economy, it will mean that the Bank of England actually has to keep rates higher for longer to take some of the steam out of the labour market. So there are some reports in the press about the chance First of all, saying, look, to Treasury, we want that 2.5% growth, but also the limited scope of actually tax cuts, which have been promised in the campaign. Indeed, and this uh, <coughs> emergency mini-budget that we're expecting uh, is separate to the energy bailout. We should point that out. But this is the opportunity to fulfil those promises that List Trust made throughout the campaign for tax cuts from day one. Uh, the question really is, how much will they boost growth, as Kwasi Kwarteng says he wants to focus on, and what will be the blowback in terms terms of inflation uh, and it's difficult to tell because the Office for Budget Responsibility, the official fiscal watchdog, isn't going to have the chance to assess this package uh, but uh, you know the mood in the Treasury, the Financial Times is reporting today, is grim because as we know the, uh, one of the first moves that Kwarteng made was to get rid of Tom Scholar, the number one civil servant in the department and that could uh, open the floodgates to much more brain drain because of course Treasury civil servants are the most hireable and the most likely to be offered huge salaries in the private sector. What do we know about how this government's going to approach what has been described as, at least expected, this winter uh, of discontent here in the UK with more strikes? Yeah, well, the, the worrying thing is that there could be overlapping strikes at Felixstowe and Liverpool ports, and we already had strikes at Felixstowe. I was there. Uh, the reason is that the union is uh, rejecting the pay deal offered by the port bosses, but uh, Felixstowe focuses on uh, Asia trade, whereas Liverpool focuses on transatlantic trade. And it <coughs> wouldn't be worse timing when retailers are gearing up for Christmas. Uh, and, you know, the unions are striking because they want to help the workers through this double-digit inflation. The pay deals don't meet it. The worry is they could add to it by Lizzie, striking. Thank you so much.